The key to lying, of course, to South Asian parents is you have to leverage their ignorance of American culture yes. against them. Yes. Case in point, one of my best friends growing up, she got caught with a bag of weed. Yeah. And she was a senior in high school, and her mom was like, what is this? Just on the spot. She's like, mom, it was part of our graduation ceremony. We collect dirt from the field, <laughs> from the soccer field. You know, <laughs> to remember to remember all the good times we had, and she bought it. She was That's like, amazing. "Okay, whatever." Or she was like a super weed head, and she was like, "Indica or whatever." <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's the thing. If you guys didn't know, Indians did pretty much invent weed. That's the thing. That's you know. It, the The point of the podcast is that everything is stolen from us. Yeah. And uh, get with it, brave. Yeah, yeah. We're the thug original. life. You know, thug is an Indian word. <laughs> thug, thug is a uh, is a Sanskrit word uh, yeah. from thuggy. Thuggy. These were people who. Um, yeah, they used to just kill kill British uh, colonialists yep. in the countryside. Scarves. Anyway, we're we're um, <laughs> we're losing losing track. Yeah. The best thing is though is that there becomes like an in South Asian mild mind meld uh. with other South Asians with lying. One time, uh, me and the same friend, her name's Sajatha, one of my best friends growing up. What up, Sajatha? I love how your friends all have your family and friends have the not just Indian names. The most Indian. The most Indian name. <laughs> Your dad's name is Avinash. Yeah, yeah. Your friend's name is Shajata. Yeah, my brother, my brother's Ashish. Supramanian. Supramanian. <laughs> it's a last name. Um, exactly. That's how Indian you guys are. Yeah, it's not like Neil. Neil Patel or <laughs> Neil, whatever. No, it's like... Josh, yeah, Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot, lot, lot of moms do like the... The Indian two for one, where it's like Sean works as an Indian kind of name. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got Neil is Indian two for one. That's another episode for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, though. Yeah. We got to get into the names. <laughs> um, so me and Sajatha were supposed to do like a community service requirement in our right. high school, which of course we did not do. We lied about it and was, said we did it. Lie. We did it at the Hari Temple in yeah. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, yeah. where we grew yeah. up. And just said, yeah, we did community service at the temple, and you know, we for she forged a note. She was an expert forger. Yeah, she, that was her thing. Every brown, dude, every brown kid has calligraphy. Yeah, yeah. Well, calligraphy. Well, it's like unlocked. we all had our skills. It was like an Ocean's Eleven yeah, type yeah, thing. It was yeah. like she's the calligrapher. I'm the guy who can steam shit open or whatever, <laughs> you know, or thinks on his feet. He's the Avengers, you know? but for avoiding yeah, weapons. Yeah, you know, of. her brother was into Krav Maga or whatever yeah, yeah, the fuck, yeah. you know. <laughs> he was the muscle, you know. <laughs> Here's the muscle to beat up the mom. So, so we, f we, we bullshit this thing of like uh, forged a note saying, yeah, we did this community yep. service. Uh, the woman in charge did not believe it. Oh, shit. Did not believe it She's at seen all. This a couple times. She's been through a couple of browns. So, so she, she calls us down to her office and she's like, yeah, I'm just not sure about this community service thing. But she's like, can you, um, what's the name of the person who was the supervisor? Yeah. She, couldn't, she was like, yeah, it was um, Shale Mangi. Which is a woman that we knew. Who's this? Is a South Asian that we knew, and we're like, okay, well, what what's her number? And so we give her Shale Maggie's yeah. number, and now we're just we don't know what the fuck yeah. to do. Shale right. doesn't know that we're doing right, this, right, right, <laughs> right, right. So she's like, Shale's not home. She's like, oh well, Shale works at a bookstore, so you know, uh, you know, well, you call her tomorrow, yeah. thinking we'll come by the time. She's like, no, no, what bookstore? Opens up the phone book. We're like, okay, Ooh, it's Barnes is, and Noble. Real, right, right. It's getting real as fuck. We're like. Sajatha is under the table, gripping my yeah. arm. Nails are digging Woo! in like we're going to die. And um, <laughs> she finds the number. She calls the bookstore. Yeah, she okay. says, hi, can I speak to Shale Mangi? And she says, hi, Shale. This is uh, Pam Sanders, whatever the fuck her name was. It is definitely Pam Sanders. And um, <laughs> says, I'm calling from the Harrisburg Academy, and I want to confirm that okay. Sajatha Goyle and okay. Pranav Bihari <laughs> did community service yeah. at the Hari Temple on these dates. She's listening on the phone. Listening, she's like, uh huh. Okay, well, thank you very much. Hangs up the phone. Shale knew. Woo! She just knew instinctively that these motherfuckers are lying, yeah. and she needs to have our back. 